dirty money Yeah, yeah I'm a Casanova, I can't help it What's up, we're Weathers and this is Quick Fire Questions with Spindle Biggest inspiration other than music For me personally it would be watching movies because I do that all the time so I get lots of inspiration from film for sure I would be I think being outside and listening to like certain podcasts of super inspirational people that have done crazy stuff in their life just gets me motivated to get back in the studio and like work on production stuff and whatnot. So yeah. I would say conversations with different people. For me it's been like personal life events and like witnessing other people's personal events. Yeah, I, did, I definitely think as a band uh, when it comes to writing music we, we like to talk about life events that we've all kind of been through and experienced. I think that's where we get our inspiration for the music and stuff. I would say rainy, drive. Emotional. Juxtapositional. I would say it can be pretty energetic. Nice word. <laughs> so our latest album uh, is a body of work that took a long time to put together. We took like a year and a half off to, uh, to write some new music and we wrote about close to like 50 songs, narrowed it down to our best 11 and that became Kids of the Night and it's kind of a, a, an anthem album and it's really just about experiencing bad things in life and then turning those bad experiences into good experiences and looking at the silver lining within it all and kind of thinking if it weren't for those bad things I wouldn't be who I am today and uh, we left it purposely a little bit open-ended in that way so that fans and, and friends could take it the way they want a lot of people look at it as uh, an anthem for like mental illness and some people take it as relationships um, and we think it's really cool that that's happened and, um, and yeah, it's a, it's a body of work that we put a lot of heart and soul into and we're really proud of it for sure. Cover men's health. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm GQ. <laughs> um, five goals. One would definitely be to headline a cross-country tour. That'd be awesome. And we have fans that are pretty spread out, but we've never done a full run. Got to, to uh, connect with them all. And um, I think that would be another one, too, is connecting with more fans. Um, Single at radio. Yeah, yeah that's one of our biggest goals this yeah. year. Yeah, I think some um, rad uh, visual content is yeah, in the near future. I'd love to film some more stuff. That'd, yeah. be, that'd be great, for sure. That's another one. I think get some new merch out there too. Oof, yeah, we uh, yeah. we just put out some new merch, but I think that there's we've just kicked open the door and we're ready to kind of walk through it and really dive into what like a Weathers brand would kind of look like, for sure. Uh, it, Brennan is you eccentric. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Eccentric. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would, Olsen, I think, is outgoing. I think yeah. that describes him pretty well. Uh, outdoorsy for this guy, for sure. Take it. I hope this doesn't come as offensive, but like awkward. Yeah. Period. Yeah. In the best yeah, way. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very okay with that. Okay. Collective. Here. I think we all agree that Red Rocks, Colorado, just because it's just gorgeous, and I can just like see it performing on the stage and looking up at a whole crowd of people, and then with the beautiful rocks, and they have those lights that shine up on them. Wow, that's a dream. I've always wanted to go but it has to be playing there for the first time. I want to go and play it for the first time ever going. I think that would be so rad. Be really like, cool. Yeah. First time I played Red Rocks. First time I've ever been there. I feel so like cool. also like so many, I mean, this is kind of like a very general thing, but so many good performances for like bands that we really like have been at the Forum recently. And I just think the Forum would be a really good, like if you've played the Forum, it's like you're, you're, you've made it and you're still going up, if that makes sense, you know? Yeah, totally. It's a great sounding room. <sighs> um, well, I think that as individuals, we're all very different kinds of people. And I don't think that you, if you knew us, you wouldn't expect us to all be in a band together. Um, but 
we are because I think we all kind of share a common theme of looking at something in a positive way, but standing from a, a negative perspective, if that kind of makes sense. And I think that kind of results in the band having a sound that makes you want to basically jump up and down while crying, I think. Um, the song is definitely a kind of social commentary, so I guess commentary would be one. They're pretty rowdy with like the la la la's and whatnot. Delirious. I... I've thought about this one before. I think. Uh, you guys go. <laughs> Uh, mine would be A Deeper Understanding by The War on Drugs, their new album. Just like the tones and everything in it, I could just listen to forever, so I love that album. Um, I'd probably pick The Devil and God Are Raging Inside Me by Brand New. Just lyrically, I feel like I can listen to it for a really long time. Um, I probably would say uh, Plastic Beach by The Gorillaz, it's a very versatile album. It's like orchestral opening and then like rap and like stuff. I guess my go-to would be Hot Fuss by The Killers, but I really don't know. Favorite part of performing? I, so other than actually playing the music and getting to share all the things that you, you, you are and what you create with the fans, I think the best part of what really makes the night special is when all the energy that you give to the crowd gets reciprocated like right back to you and they just they, they take it, absorb it, and they throw it right back in your face, and I think that's awesome. I love that. Getting hot and sweaty for me, I think. Is <laughs> <laughs> that's only for <laughs> Yeah. I know, I was pretty sweaty last night. Oh, man, it was hot. Yeah. I mean, he's the only one that enjoys it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't enjoy it. <laughs> it's good for you, right? <laughs>